Well, there ain't no use in sitting here worrying, kiddo. You better go up to your bed. Is Aunt Edith real sick? No, I don't think so. Uh, she's, uh, she's probably, what do you call, benumbed, you know? From inhaling cabbage for two days. <laughs> Smelling cabbage can't make a person not walk. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. You know, the nose, that's a very powerful thing there. I remember once I was changing one of Joey's diapers, you know? <laughs> I lost my balance. I had to sit down and... <laughs> Mr. Bunker. Oh, yeah, yeah. I put a moist pack on her leg. I want you to make sure she keeps it there. Yeah, I can do that, sure. How's Aunt Edith? She's tired, like you. Go upstairs, give her a goodnight kiss. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, here. I forgot to give her this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here, I have something for you. I don't feel like a lollipop. No, no. This time, bubble gum. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, on the level, how is she? I think she should be in a hospital. See, see, that's the difference between you and your old man. You think he always knew. <laughs> Where is he? He's retired. He can't be retired. He ain't got no business being retired while any of his patients are still alive. <laughs> Get him on the horn, Sid. I'm Dr. Shapiro. He's the only Dr. Shapiro. You ain't anything like your father. <laughs> Mr. Bunker, I have known you since I was six years old. Oh, yeah, I know, and I didn't like you then. <laughs> and I don't like you now. <laughs> what about Edith? Her I like. <laughs> I mean, is she gonna be all right? Oh, now you're concerned. After you practically killed her. What? What did I do? What did you do? What did I do? What did you do? Well, you were a little like your father then. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Bunker. From the smell in this house, it's obvious what you've been doing. I mean, that might cause a patient to leave a room or open up a window. <laughs> but that ain't gonna paralyze a woman. Be the cabbage. I ain't at none of that yet. <laughs> Mrs. Bunker told me you've had her on her feet for two days cooking. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I told her not to cook. Well, what the hell kind of medical advice is that? What she got that she can't cook? She didn't tell you. No. Phlebitis. I told her that if she doesn't stay off her feet, it could kill her. Phlebitis? Ain't that what the Democrats give Nixon? <laughs> She'll be okay. She has her medication. If she just takes it easy, it will resolve itself, Mr. Bunker. I thought she told you. You wanna throw up? No, no, no. I'll be okay. I thought you knew about this. No, I, I didn't know nothing. Please forgive me. I never would have yelled at you. I thought it was your fault. Yeah. Well, it's, it's okay. T take it easy, Sid. Forget it, forget it, forget it. But please forgive me, Mr. Bunker, please. Yeah, no, it, it's all right. It's all right, Sid. You, you, you're a good boy, you know. Please don't tell my father. <laughs> no, I, I won't say nothing about it. Just don't play ball on my stoop no more. Huh? <laughs> that wasn't me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.